sometimes you read on the newspapers that, uh, uh, well, computers are making us stupid, or the internet, or Google, which is a little bit like uh, blaming cars for us being fat. Now, yes, of course, obviously. No, it's, you don't walk, you take the car to go and buy the milk, so obviously, blah, like. <laughs> now, that, that is not good, okay? Uh, but at the same time, I mean, who wants to do without cars, et cetera, and a, a faster, more time to do other things and so on. Now, with computers, it's a little bit like that. You know, it's a, of course, they're ruining our lives, yes. <laughs> Obviously, you know, as I have the BlackBerry turned off right now and has been turned off for an hour, and I'm a bit apprehensive, but... But it's okay. Uh, but obviously, I mean, the, the main mistake is to think that th that plasticity uh, is subject to some kind of determinism, that now we have the technology and we're going to be in this tunnel and all is going to happen is, well, more and more and more and more use of that technology. We have no freedom, no choice. We can't do anything about it. I share you know, the, the view that, of course, is what you do with it that it really makes a big difference. So one day we might stop using the car to buy the milk, and one day we might stop texting each other just to and, and walk to the other place, double task in that way, uh, and and talk to the other guy next to the office. So the computers, when we started this whole enterprise, were there to make sure that we would save time for something else. Now, if they instead consume all the time. That's not good. But if you know, we can use them to save the time to do something else, well, then is the kind of technology I want to see. You know, that sort of Although there's a little dualism in there, and that, that, that they're out here and we're in here, when in fact, if we look at what Roz has been working on, there's, there's actually a, a very uh, closed loop between us and our machines. In, in some sense, you can view the development of Windows as uh, computers run amok, but then if we look at, at, at some of the kinds of inputs, well, what if we design things differently? What if we uh, recognize that for this relationship to have quality, it has to understand where we're coming from? This is an attempt to actually address some of these questions, to make the technology better. What do you think are the principles of modifying technology or, or creating devices that, that would maximize our ability to not simply go down a path of of, as Gary's saying, you know, having the time be completely consumed by computers or uh, sacrificing all kinds of other sorts of interactions. Oh, dear. <laughs> You're asking me who lives on the computer. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, I, I think there are some rules about computers uh, showing respect for people, as, but it's really rules for we who design them, you know, and ultimately we have to ask what we want. You know, do we want to build things that, that surpass us and dominate us and kind of take over, like in a lot of the dystopic science fiction visions? Um, or do we want to build things that augment us? And lately there's been a, a real, it's, it's interesting, there's been a real pushback. Instead of just building artificial intelligences that are gonna somehow be smarter than us, and as my friend and colleague Marvin Minsky says, we'll be lucky if they keep us around as household pets. You know, that, that kind of machine. What we're finding is we, people want to build things that help them to learn more about themselves, to um, be more effective at the goals that they want to achieve. So the, the technology has become, the, the end result has not been to build the smartest machine, the, the brain that dominates our brain, but to build uh, things that augment our brains and our bodies in ways that also help illuminate what's going on inside our brains and bodies. So we learn more about ourselves, and we still um, maintain control, and we have the choice uh, to do new things now because we know more about ourselves.